The word has come out that a huge American YouTuber goes by the name of your fellow Arab with 1.4 million subscribers has been allegedly kidnapped. Now, why do I say allegedly? Because there is no proof of the kidnapping. We will talk about it at the end of the video, but let's go over the details right here. American YouTube star, your fellow Arab kidnapped in Haiti while trying to meet a gang leader barbecue. First of all, I'd like to point out that New York Post without any proof kidnapped just because someone said so. I don't know who is writing, who is approving these things, but please check again, my friend. Second, uh, <laughs> second thing I want to mention, I kid you not, the gang leader he was trying to meet, his name was Barbecue. This is Mr. Barbecue right here. Now, my best guess is the conversation between the two gang leader and this YouTuber was too serious. The YouTuber tried to make a joke with the Mr. Barbecue. He was like, barbecue or toast? <laughs> And Mr. Barbecue was like, come, I will show you. Now, let me give you a little bit of context with Mr. Arab here, Mr. YouTuber. What kind of videos he posts? Now, there's a lot of characters on YouTube. Everyone tries to do different things, vlogging, gaming. I don't know. There's so many new... There's so many categories on YouTube with the different type of videos that people make. They're so creative with it. That's why YouTube is so popular because anyone can go and find anything and everything there. Out of all the categories, Mr. Arab chose his niche as going and meeting gang leaders, interviewing serial killers. It's honestly worth the views and the likes you get on the channel, to be honest, because why not do something that no one has done before and your name will be forever remembered. As you can see in his videos, I spent a day with Rio Brazil, the most dangerous gang. Brazilian favelas are often referred to worldwide as some of the most dangerous places on earth. Bro is casually chilling with gang members like nothing wrong can happen and he tries to make jokes with them like no nothing can go wrong if they get a little bit of you know offended or let's say the gangs are very poor and they see this uh, very rich youtuber who comes to them like like there's a very small chance these poor people who are you know also gang members that it will cross their head that we will hold them kidnap them hold them and ask for ransom for thousands of dollars there's a very small chance these things can happen to be honest he also spent a couple of days living with the mexican cartel as well when's the last time you killed someone for the next 100 hours i will be living with the most dangerous cartel in the entire world the only thing the world knows about these guys is that they're some of the most ruthless killers that exist. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be living with them and vlogging. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Say hi, Carlos. Carlos here killed three people yesterday. I mean, I would personally love to watch these things, but as a like a YouTuber going and vlogging these things, risking it, fuck no so now you know what kind of content he makes and two three weeks ago a few days before he got kidnapped he posted this on x saying going on another one of those trips the dangerous trips because th those were the most watched on his channel and once you see something is doing good on your channel you stick to it like for me i make neon jack doherty videos they get views it clicks people like me shitting on them so i just make more videos of them he also said if i die thanks for watching for what I've put out, if I live, all, gl all glory to God. Now, bro, obviously he doesn't want to die. He This is the last thing. He's just trying to build up tension. He's trying to build up tension for his next YouTube video. He's trying to promote it from before he even posts it. Addison, aka Mr. YouTuber, was on his way back from the Cape Haiti with Haiti colleague Sacra Sean. Mr. YouTuber Pierre Malof went to Delma 6 to conduct an interview with Jiminy Sear, aka Barbecue. Now I want to know how he came up with that name. Literally, this nickname, uh, Mr. Barbecue Gang Leader. Or did he, one day he woke up, he's like, hmm, I don't like my name, Jimmy. I want something scary. When you say Jimmy, people think of Mr. Beast. I don't, I want something when you say the name fear shivers the body of everyone. I, I want a better nickname. He asked his captains, his other, uh, you know, gang members. He was like, guys, what do I do that, you know, sticks like my name? You know, when you ask your friends for nicknames on what suits you most. And they're like, oh, you burned a couple of people before. Let's name you barbecue. He was like, 
You're promoted. Give him six kilo of co ding ding ding. Just a daily reminder to tell you to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. These daily contents, it is for free. You will not lose anything, and you can always unsubscribe later on. This is bro's last video that he posted that he dis he allegedly disappeared and he's allegedly kidnapped. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. And if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't wanna be dealing with the gangs even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're gonna be leaving at three in the morning. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees. To be honest, this looks like a place, you know, in movies where people go, like tourists, they go, like 20, 30 people, then five guys with AKs come and they start lighting shit up. Now, I don't know much about Haiti. I don't know how dangerous it is, but from the looks of it, people don't go there. So I'm guessing it's, it's pretty dangerous. And even though he said he's going to go at 3 a.m. so he will be safe, no idiot with the AK is going to confront them. Still, a member of the same criminal group as Barbecue sees that the pair is now demanding a ransom of $600,000. Now, $600,000 is a lot of money, but it can be worse. It can be worse. They, they could have easily asked for like $2 million or $3 million, and it would have been a lot harder. But $600,000, for him, it's manageable. I went through his YouTube channel through Social Blade because I'm very nosy. And it says he makes, on, in a monthly... Uh, basis he makes ten thousand two hundred sixty thousand dollars a month now let's cut out the parts where you know the videos are demonetized or some things happen he gets 40 million views a month so with the category with the niche that he does let's say he even makes one third of the max so let's say he makes 50 to sixty thousand dollars a month he probably makes more than that but he should just give up a few months of his salaries that he was doing and just paid the whole thing but so far as the you know the word is out there's only they only paid out forty thousand dollars to them and they're still demanding more it's been what 15 days 16 days it's getting worse day by day if this kidnapping is true do i think if anything's going to happen to him probably not they wouldn't risk on aliving him because they can they can use more money bro like the money is more important. And there are a couple of people coming through and saying they're, they want to, I don't know, open a GoFund for him, you know, for them to, honestly, it would be a good idea to open a GoFund. Or they're saying like, we pay 10K, then 59 other people pay, so we can just release him. Now, at the beginning of the video, why did I say allegedly? Because there is no proof of him getting kidnapped. There is no proof. There's no messages. There's no demands. You know, the guy is saying, how did they t uh, communicate? And he also posted this video saying, if I never upload again, I'm sorry. These are his last words, apparently going to Heidi. Uh, I'm headed right now to one of my most dangerous trips. And I'm going to be offline for four days. Not by choice. But because I have to. If I don't make it back, I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for everyone who watched. Thanks for everyone who supported, told their friends about it. Uh, I'm doing what I enjoy. And I'm happy making the videos I make and living the adventures that I do. Now, I can't believe there are people out there who are going to be like, oh my God, he's doing all of this for us. I love him so much. He is such a brave person. He looks like he is still at the right set of mind. And this is all a build up dramatic scene to promote the next video. So the next video will be huge. Now, we don't know what else is going to happen. What kind of news are going to come out. But my best guess in this situation is out of nowhere. We're like, pray for him, pray for him. Out of nowhere, video upload it. Me spending two weeks with a gang leader living their lifestyle. Like and subscribe because that is a huge promotion for the, the YouTube video. Now, this whole thing can be true. This whole thing cannot be true. He can either come out after a few days and be like, oh, this whole thing was a promotion for my YouTube video. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe. If it is, then his plan is working because he is all over the news. Everyone is talking about this guy. Or he the news might come out that gang leader barbecue barbecued Mr. Astaghfirullah, but it's not, it's not good to make jokes about this. 
uh, Mr. Arab, Mr. YouTuber, and he is no longer with us. May God rest his soul. Then I will have to make an apology video. And I just randomly find this guy post this picture an hour ago saying, free up my guy. I love you, your fellow Arab. He is casually chilling and tattooing free Arab. Now, out of all the places he chose his feet, and what is this tattoo is going to do for Arab? He goes in national TV, he's going to be like this. Free Arab. And imagine the YouTuber comes out and is like, guys, it was all a joke. Come down. I'm okay. And this guy is like, yeah, I won. I tattooed your name on my uh, feet. So what did we learn from this video? Do not interview or talk to with any gang leaders named the barbecue because they are very, um, as a matter of fact, don't even talk or interview gang leaders. Why? You don't like your life? But yeah, that was it for today's video. Yalla, bye.